All right, now we're going to uh, we're going to break down our uh, halibut here. Look at this thing. This is quite a fish. Yeah, this is actually a very small halibut. They can really <laughs> that. get to be very large in size, uh, up to 60 pounds or even larger. And this is around a 10, 12 pound fish. Yeah, so not too bad. Now, where do you source your fish from? Well, we source from wherever, you know, it's the freshest. And your best halibut comes from the Pacific. Mm -hmm. So it's either going to be from Alaska or sometimes as far north as Norway. Cool, so cold water. Mm -hmm. Very cold water. Wow, look at this thing. Yeah, no. so <laughs> this is a flat fish, so it's a little bit different bone structure than would be like a salmon or, mm -hmm. uh, or a bass. So the way you cut it is a little bit different. Okay. And the fish itself actually kind of helps you a bit because as you can see, there's a line that runs down the mm -hmm. center. And that really tells you this is where the bone is and that's, that's where we're gonna make you know, our cut to separate the fillets. Okay, great. You ever so, filleted fish before? I have not. No? <laughs> it's the first time for everything. Yes. It's not too different than medicine, right? I mean, I was going to say, that's where you make the incision. <laughs> there you, know? you go. Well, you make the cut. It is exactly. an incision, right? Yeah. For sure. So, yeah. Not too different at all. Very nice. So, wow, you made really quick work of that. Yeah, so you really just follow the, follow, you want to use a flexible knife so that you can go along. Uh, you just follow along the bone structure. So the type of knife that you use is pretty important here? Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to be very sharp and uh, flexible. Yeah, you're really so leave then, it, leaving like no flesh behind. I'm very impressed. The other, so this is going to have fillets on both sides, mm -hmm. and one side is dark and one side is white. And the interesting thing about that is, the halibut has both its eyes on one side. Oh, neat! Because they lay on the floor of the ocean mm -hmm. on the white side, okay. and, the, and the other side would be up. Now, do you always break down whole fish at the restaurant? Absolutely. Wow. Um, we cut a lot of our, I cut a lot of steaks as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, fish. Because you're a steakhouse. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're an Italian steakhouse. So we have everything from pizza, pasta, and uh, prime steak. And uh, we get the freshest fish that we can. I can see that. Yeah. And you're located at Mount Airy Casino? Correct. Fantastic. Right. It's in Mount Beautiful Pocono, place. Pennsylvania. And when you're breaking down the whole fish, the nice thing about it is you have the bones here left over and with a white fish like this, mm -hmm. you can make a nice soup or use it to make a stock, to For make sure. sauce and to really is get the most of, out of it. one of the reasons why you like to use a whole fish? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Chef Matt is making this look very easy. <laughs> he really is. I so know. Then, There's a lot of skill that goes Then you're really going to want to have your, your filet nice and clean here. And then you're just going to remove the skin, make a small cut here. And really, you just wiggle the skin. Now that is not easy to do, and you and that, really no. did. And make that it gives look like you your. This gives us our nice clean fillet. Wow! Excellent. All right, now we're going to cut the portions. Here, we have our already filleted halibut, and you're going to want to cut, you know, probably about a seven, eight ounce portion. That's really. a nice portion. Mm -hmm. yeah. That, what do you do with that little end piece? Is that well, like a chef's knife? You snack? can save that <laughs> and you can put it together with an, uh, another piece and okay. make another portion there or you, you could, uh, you know, make other things out of it. Nice. Mm -hmm. We're going to put this in the refrigerator. All right. Clean these up. Ready. 